Let us consider this problem. The intelligence quotient, the IQ of a group of students is normally distributed with mean 7 and variance 9. So what is given? Let us consider, take, represent the intelligence quotient as x, right? And it is given that that x follows normal distribution. Right? The mean is known to be 7 and standard deviation is known to be 9. Va sorry, variance is given as 9. The IQ is normally distributed with mean 7 and variance 9. So, if variance is 9, your standard deviation takes square root of 9. It is 3. It cannot be minus 3. Standard deviation cannot be a negative value. Okay, with this understanding, let us come to the question. Find the probability that the IQ of a randomly selected student will lie between 5 and 8. What is the chance that X is between 5 and 8? So, you standardize everywhere 5 minus 7 by 3 less than Z less than 8 minus 7 by 3. So, 5 minus 7, 2, 2 divided by 3 is 0 0.67 minus 0 0.67 8 minus 7 is 1 1 divided by 3 is 0.33 right so you get 0.33 so see draw the curve minus 0.67 is somewhere here and 0.3 is somewhere here you need this area so, to make use of the tables, you can divide this area as 0 0.67 to 0 plus 0 to 0 0.3. Okay. So, 0 0.67 to 0 plus 0 to 0 0.3. But minus 0 0.67 can be written like this. 0 to plus 0 0.67. Right. Only then you can make use of the table. Okay. Minus, the area from minus 0 0.67 to 0 will be... Same as the area from 0 to plus 0.67 because the curve is symmetric. 0 0.667.2486. Okay. 0.2486 plus 0 0.33. 0.33. 0 0.1293. 0 0.1293. So, 0.2486 plus 0.1293. Your answer is 0 0.3779. Okay. Right. Now let us come to the next question. B. It says, what is the chance that the IQ of a student is greater than 6? So, probably you should standardize 6 minus 7 divided by 3. So, you get Z is greater than minus 1.33. Right? 1.33 or sorry, 0 0.33. 1 by 3 is point, 0 0.33. So, minus 0 0.33 is here. So, you need this area. Right? To find this area, you know, you don't know what is this area from here to here. So, probability of, after this you should come to the curve. From the curve you are writing. Okay? Minus 0 0.33 to 0. Plus 0 0.5. The rest of the area you know it is 0 0.5. This can be written as 0 to plus 0 0.33. Okay. For 0 0.33 already we have written the answer 0 0.1293. Right. Plus 0 0.5. The answer is 0 0.6293. Let us go to the next question. What is the chance that the IQ of a student will be less than 5? Right. Let us standardize. 5 minus mean 7 divided by um, sigma is 3. Is it less than 2 by 3? So, what is 2 by 3? Minus 2 by 3, right? Minus 0 0.67. So, what is the area that you require? Minus 0 0.67 will be to the left of 0. So, less than means below this area, right? See, by symmetry, you can write it as Area after 0 0.67 will be same as the, this area. Is it greater than 0 0.67? So, 
so from here you know this part is 0.5 right this part is 0.5 minus this area you don't want you exclude it right 0 less than less 0 less than 0 0.67 for 0 0.67 point 0.5 minus 0 0.67 0.2486 see when you reduce you get 0.2514 okay fine the C is also over we have one more problem D what is the probability that the IQ lies between 6 and 9 that is the last question IQ lies between 6 and 9 that is equal to 6 minus 7 divided by 3 less than x less than z right it becomes z 9 minus 7 by 3 6 minus 7 by 3 is minus 1 by 3 that is minus 0.33 9 minus 7 is 2 2 by 3 is 0 0.67 positive value so have the curve this is 0, minus 0 0.33 is somewhere here and 0 0.67 is somewhere here and you need the area between these two ordinates. This can be written as minus 0 0.33 less than z less than 0 plus 0 less than z less than 0 0.67. By symmetry you can write it as 0 less than z less than 0 0.33. Plus probability of 0 less than is it less than 0 0.67. Right. So let us have the area from the table 0 0.33, 0 0.1293, 0 0.67, 0 0.2486. Right. 0 0.1293 plus 0 0.24. 86 gives 0.3779 fine okay so this is how you find the required areas in a normal distribution fine